Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at Kodak Ultramax 400. It's a consumer grade film, which means it's very affordable. Um, this is actually, I think, the cheapest of Kodaks. Uh, you can get it pretty much anywhere. That's not true, but you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> you can get it in the chemist probably or at your local um, camera store. I did a little backyard photo shoot with Noodle Girl. I'm here with Noodle Girl. <laughs> Do you like being called Noodle Girl? Love it. <laughs> so how long have you been smoking? For a while now. I'm not gonna go up. No, <laughs> don't go up. Who is the only one in my circle who really shares my passion for photography and also the only one who is willing to model outside during January in Ireland with a t-shirt. I just really love the texture, all the different textures in this photo. You got the the trees, which are adding like a little bit of whimsical movement. You got the brick wall and then you got the wooden fence and then even behind you have the, um, the overgrowth of, that's actually a, a fort that I live in in front of um, an old historical fort. And I like that she looks very deep in thought, just having her own moment. Another one from the backyard shoot. This is mid lighting of the cigarette. I think it's a tad underexposed, honestly, all the photos. Um, so I took two rolls of the same film and actually they were pretty much all underexposed. Uh, some of them I edited, some of them I didn't. This is an example of one that I didn't touch the exposure on. And I think it's less to do with the film and the lighting and stuff and uh, more to do with the camera itself because halfway through the second roll it just uh, just gave up and died. But more more on that later. This one, not completely candid. I did. I was like, hey, uh, put your foot on that ball over there. <laughs> is it just me or does she kind of look like a rabbi with the long scarf? This is a tie uh, for my favorite uh, portrait. Just really love it. Um, very intensity in the eyes. Yeah, this is someone who just instinctively always smiles for the camera um, and I didn't want that. <laughs> um, I wanted, you know, natural kind of, you know, kind of moody photos. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I wanted some moody photos. Nothing wrong with that. Um, and I think I really achieved it here. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to glamorize smoking. I'm really not. Bins, what can I say? <laughs> I seem to always want to take photos of bins. They're never good photos, but I, I just need to take photos of bins. Don't know why. I don't know what that says about me. This photo, I actually scanned it the wrong way. <laughs> Back to front. Something to note about my garden. Um, it's, I haven't touched it, you know, it's really in need of a renovation of TLC. Um, but I wanted to do a few shoots out there um, before I do anything fancy to it or, and fix it up. Uh, this is a plant. <laughs> I don't know which plant it is. Um, this, I'm not really sure why I chose to use a flash on this, but I did. Um, I think I had an image in my head of what I wanted. I, I think the framing on this is too tight, for sure. I could have done with just stepping back a little bit, you know? Cranes. You guys know I love cranes. Uh, as you can see, there's some light leaks coming from this camera. It's uh, I acquired this camera secondhand and now it has died. More on that later. What strikes me about this, again, like I say, I didn't touch the garden. This is like a kid's toy that has just been left there. I just liked the the vibrant yellow of it. But what strikes me about this is it could almost be mistaken for a photo that I took with expired film. If you watched one of my last videos, which I will link down below, this could have been taken on expired film, which really leads me to believe that the camera is just, um, had some issues. <laughs> it did in fact die. <laughs> More on that later. <laughs> yeah, just not a super fan of this photo. Honestly, um, it makes me feel a bit weird looking at it, but maybe that's good <laughs> because, you know, there's actually, for instance, for instance, this photo makes me feel depressed when I look at it. I don't know why. Like, it was a an enjoyable day. It was actually quite sunny, although it was like a little bit, you know, wet. It had just rained, but it's Ireland. When has it not just rained? But this photo fills me with a kind of a, a gloomy feeling. Um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. What I'm trying to say is, I mean, a photograph or art in general 
gives you any sort of feeling, well, you know, that's the purpose of art, right? But but I didn't set out to make a gloomy image, so mm, we could have a whole other discussion about that. Uh, same with this picture. I mean, maybe because it is a, you know, a forlorn, forgotten kid's toy in overgrown grass in the winter. Not exactly a formula for happiness. Uh, so this is the, uh, the fort uh, that I have spoke about before. Um, I can see tourists from my back garden as they all take pictures of me uh, sitting out the back in my pajamas drinking tea, which is pretty cool. Uh, this was very underexposed. I had to, maybe I, I messed with the exposure too much here. I don't really know, but just really enjoy the texture and the, um, you know, it's historical. And then there's just like a garden shed. So it's like the everyday banal modern <laughs> garden meets, you know, this, uh, this very historical fort. Eventually I let her actually put a sweater on and we went around the streets a little bit uh, looking for some nice colored walls I liked the this is a lot more blue in real life usually there's like a really old cat sitting in the window um, but he didn't die I've seen him since then but he just wasn't there that day I guess also like this photo my method for taking portraits is kind of to like to press the shutter in the in-between moments so that's when you catch actual natural moments you know a natural smile um a natural thoughtful moment uh, this is a bottle of you know i don't know anything about alcohol it could be vodka i'm thinking i don't know but it's empty now uh, i like the way it's in the shadow just perfectly sitting in the Shadow. Ooh, I just saw these other shadows of like the leaves. Mmm. Mmm. I love me a good shadow. Yeah, so close to where I live, there's graffiti walls. I didn't take any like straight on pictures of the graffiti, and yet I take pictures of bins. And this is one taken by Noodle Girl. I like it a lot, actually. I love the droplets. on the basket and this is a kind of I guess you could call it a still life of pomegranate y'all know that that's pomegranate I didn't have to tell you I just I had a I had an urge uh, just I had to take a picture and I even tried to satisfy the urge with with my iPhone just took a few with my iPhone because I was like look I don't think this is gonna come out very good yeah I think I was kind of right it's not great um, I had to I had to adjust it a lot just to get it some way decent um, but yeah I just really liked the the red I like taking pictures of fruit that's for sure. Um, and I like the contrast of the red and the yellow. And pomegranates are just so beautiful. So now we're moving on to the next roll. Um, I had a, a party and I had intended to take photos at the party, but uh, it just didn't turn out. <laughs> I didn't I didn't take any photos, basically. I don't know, the lighting was, I, I'll, I'll insert some Instagram story footage here. <laughs> Uh, so instead, I decided to take some photos the next morning when I was cleaning up. Here is three different types of beer. Um, and I kind of wanted to capture that, like, morning after party feeling. Again, there's, there's quite a cold feeling off this photo. When I saw the photos that I took around my house, I was like, wow, I really need to make the place a little bit more homey. Um, I know I'm still, like, settling in, but still. Nilain tinton mar de hinton fein. That's Irish for there's no fireplace like your own fireplace. This is a housewarming gift that my friends gave me. That it's like a luck plant. It, and if it dies, it means that you're gonna die. Which I thought was really extreme, but I was like, okay, fair enough. Heck, better make sure it doesn't die. And I'm not usually one for watering plants. That's why I have succulents, because they don't need a lot of attention. And it wasn't until after taking this photo that I realized it's in fact a fake plant. Uh, this is my staircase, <laughs> as you can see. And a cardigan that... Um, Someone left at my house and I, I didn't know whose it was. Um, again, I can't help but take photos of fruit and this, I, I took two. I took two pictures of this lemon. I guess I was too close to it, what do you think? Uh, and the focus, it just wouldn't focus. And then I headed out with Noodle Girl on a little photo excursion because it was clear, clear skies. Um, and it was on this excursion that the camera malfunctioned, but managed to get a few decent shots. Like this one here. This bike by the river. Not much I can say about this, honestly. Uh, just, uh, you know me, I love coloured buildings. 
uh, this is where things things start to go wrong. I saw some cranes. Cranes. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Obviously needed to take photos and also really loved the way the sky was almost kind of split in two. And then here, this looks like it was taken in 1852. Again, something, something starting to go wrong. And this is the last ever photo that I took on the camera before it malfunctioned. I do love the birds on top. But yeah, after this, I captured the exact moment of the confusion of um, the, the lens just like zoomed out all the way and wouldn't go back in and on the the top the monitor it was just kept flashing a2 um and it wouldn't take any pictures it basically wouldn't do anything um and the lens wouldn't retract let's have a look and see if there's any that didn't you know uh, make it in this one uh she just happens to be standing like a farmer <laughs> nothing wrong with farmers it just wasn't the look that um either of us were going for hmm this is another beer can photo with the uh, super like faded and underexposed. Yeah, actually that's pretty much it. Oh, well, there's this one <laughs> of me looking super awkward. Um, I don't know why I'm standing so awkwardly. Um, and this one where it looks like I showed up to her home uh, like a paparazzi and she's about to hit me, so. Uh, and of course, it wouldn't be a roll of film without me somehow having my thumb over the lens. So that's all guys. Lots of love. And I hope you see lots of cranes today.